I would say that I have uh, met a lot of women who've met my list even before I wrote it out. But the problem is, like, I just have a reoccurring issue with the women that I attract. <laughs> Jay knows that it's always the same red flag. What is it? What's the red flag? Freaking lingering exes. Yeah. Like, girls, like, see, the thing is, like, for me, I don't care if a girl is still friends with her ex. Like, if a girl is still friends with her ex and, like, still wants to, like, text them, I'm like, dude, go ahead. I don't care. You're nuts. I, I honestly <laughs> do not care. But it's, like, it's on you to know the boundary of, like, where, like, to stop. Right, like if you want to text them, whatever, that's cool. I get it. Some people take a lot, take a lot of time, whatever. Right, but the but if you like go and do something skeezy, that's on you. But if you tell me and be like, hey, listen, like I went to this place and my ex happened to be there, you're transparent about it. I'm cool with that. But I'm not gonna tell you you can't be friends with your ex or whatnot. That's like that's like too much. Maybe you should. Nah, I'm good. Maybe that's where your issue is, is that you're allowing it. Here's the other thing. I allow it because also if you give if you give somebody freedom, they'll show you what they'll do with that freedom. So it's a test at the end of the day, too. But why is that even like a something that has to come up in like a, a like because they're like I would never even assume that he would be doing that because it would be like a given that that's not appropriate. I'll tell mm -hmm. you why. I want somebody to show me the true colors. I want somebody to be with me because they actually want to be with me, not because they're trying to settle for me. Are you saying like you later find out that they're in contact or like you know that they are and you just want to see like how far it goes? So there's there's a many incidents where people basically they'll end up with somebody because it's comfortable, because they feel like they can't get anything better. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Yeah. I want somebody to basically choose me because they actually want to be with me, not because like I'm like that second choice because they can't get their ex. So mm -hmm. I give them that freedom to prove which one they actually want. Mm -hmm. And in every situation before, it's always been they want their ex more, since they always go back to their ex. In a way, though, if you think about it, it's like a, it's a good thing for Jesse yeah. because he's like, I don't want your like half-ass love. Why? Why do you keep finding women that are? Still I don't hung know. Up on their ex? I don't know. It's just, it's just just the tendency of what it is. But in general, back to the original topic, I do see the girls that I like a lot, do you, and like physical attraction, uh, it's it's up there. But at the end of the day, I know that looks are a uh, depreciating asset. Ooh, for looks sure. Are, yeah. Looks are a depreciating asset. When, sure. when we're 50 and wrinkled, guess what? Looks is the last thing you're worried about. Yeah. Right. So I'd rather you got everything else right. Mm -hmm. And like the, the looks is like maybe like 40%. Like you look good now. And like if you look good, I'm like, you look good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. But the other 60% got to be there. Right. Can I ask you, is lingering, no lingering X on that list now? I don't, yes. No, 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 no. I'm okay with like, um, cause there's other incidents where it's like, say they were in a relationship with like five, six, long as hell relationship, right? What if they have a dog together? Oh, please. That's some nah. bullshit, dude. Yeah, it's. Fuck that shit. One person gets the fucking dog. Like, okay. Somebody's got to decide. That's I... such crap. Like, I'm sorry. I love animals. I love dogs. And I would be devastated. But that's just the way it goes. Yeah. Mm. But I will say, though, I think most of the most of the time, if you cut that person off, most people would, would probably cut. Like, if you have an ex, you'll probably cut that off. And you'd probably give your all to your new partner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, I mean, I think it's human nature for if you, like, continue to talk to someone that you cared about, like, really deeply. Like, that's, like, you can't just, like, turn that off. Um, I feel like if you're still in contact, because mm -hmm. it can rekindle or re-spark. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So. But I don't say it, but like I said, at the end of the day, it's just a test. The reason why I allow it is because it's a test. If see, you know that you're doing this test, it's not going to work. I know. That person's already too far into the ex bullshit. Yeah, I always see within a couple months. Mm -hmm. But in the past, I've just been too much of a sucker stick around yeah now now just you're a lot easier you're a lot quicker to yeah, pull now, the cord yeah now i'm like you're, you're a lot quicker I'm to pull out. the cord now yeah, yeah just will be I'm out see and i'm out He's i'm not out. sticking around yeah so actually like when we started dating we had to have like a long talk about our exes because both of us came out of a long relationship yeah so we had to like have that talk pretty like soon into our relationship because he had gone out of like a basic basically like a marriage like he was with someone Don't for so long mm-hmm uh, like eight years, and I was with someone for three years. Yours was a lot more sooner, though. but yeah, he had <laughs> like a, a year sooner. gap, and mine was scary oh, short. Yeah. But that was because of COVID. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, really, we're we a got COVID to, couple. Yeah, like we, yeah. I started, we started dating after 
a month after my relationship. Mm-hmm. So we have to really talk about it. and and this is crazy. Like I don't even know if you can post this, but I was like, hey, just so you know, my ex texts me and I don't respond. So if you see his name or something on my phone, I want you to know that I'm not responding to him. That's really mature, though. See, that's that's, that's a W. About. Yeah. That's that, a W. That's what I'm talking about, transparency. Yeah. See, for me, as a as a guy, all I ask is transparency. Be like, hey, listen, my ex texted me today. That's right. cool. Let me know. Right. I tell him right. all the time. He still texts me, and I'll be like, oh, guess who texted me again? You know? Yeah. like She does tell me every time. I've never yeah. responded. And, and I'd be like, he shows up at my house. And then I'm so happy I told him this this day because he slept over and oh, he told- showed up at my oh, house yeah, the next day. Weird. And I was like, oh, my God, thank God I told him. He would have thought I'm still talking to him and he's coming and say, you know, hang out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that would have been crazy. So, Got to be upfront with exes about exes. For go. sure. No, that's my only, that's my biggest thing. But 